What if I told you there was a single location on Fortuna 3 where you could just sit and collect tens of thousands of K marks while also setting a trap for enemy players? And I'm going to show you how to do it. First, head to the jungle, and we're going to begin by mining focus crystals. <laughs> what if I? What if this was just another focus crystal run video? I already know about the focus crystals. You discount, Doctor Disrespect. No, we're we're actually going to start by going to the ICA store. Buy yourself a data drive for 300 K marks, head into the drop with that, and a minimalistic loadout. Now, we're gonna take this drive specifically to the North Uplink station. Even if you've done this before, and you know how the data uplink works, you haven't done it like this. If you've never done a data uplink, you gonna learn today. Upon reaching the uplink station, clear out the creatures that hang around the tower next to it. The sound of it firing up attracts them. So once we start this process, you don't wanna risk giving up your position to enemy prospectors. Now take your data drive into the center of the station and place it in the drive slot next to the interface. The screen is now going to have the action to begin the downloading process. Now, before you get to this point and we start farming, there's a few things you need to know. Firstly, you need to know that as a cycle partnered creator, you can expect consistent updates on the game as well as guides to give you an edge and discover new features. If that butters your biscuit, consider subscribing. Now, once the downloading process is initiated, it will notify prospectors in the area with a subtle sound effect. It'll then continue to make loud sounds until the download is complete. When the download is done, as long as the inserted drive is still sitting in the slot, the station will rhythmically beep, telling you to come grab it. This will come in useful in a minute. Now, how does this become a lucrative loot run? When you take out the data drive we finished downloading, you'll see that it has been upgraded to Uncommon Rarity. Selling this to a faction at the space station will get you one faction rep and a thousand K marks. Player two, that doesn't sound very lucrative. If you take that Uncommon data drive and throw it back into the slot and start the download again, it will spit out a rare data drive worth 2,500 K marks and three faction rep. Throw that in to make epic for a nice 6,000 K marks and six faction rep. But if you throw it in one more time, it comes out as a legendary data drive, which surprisingly is the most valuable item in the game that does not require end game faction missions or being dropped randomly, like a Marauder head, a Crusher flesh. It's worth 10 faction rep and a whopping 10,000 K marks. With a common data drive only costing 300 K marks from the ICA, you can buy several of them to take in and multiply these gains. Now, don't forget about other players though. You killed the creatures in the area, but players who were notified you were using the uplink may try to come in and rat. So I have a few tips to help you survive at this location. You need to first understand the full process of downloading. Downloading at each rarity level takes a specific amount of time. From white to green, you're looking at 30 seconds. Green to blue is 60 seconds. Blue to purple is 90. And the legendary upgrade is a tasking two minutes. Now, it's very important that if you're bringing more than one drive, when you press the action button at the slot to insert a data drive, the uplink is going to choose and pull whichever one has the highest rarity in your inventory, and it's going to keep upgrading that one. Once that drive reaches legendary, if you try to use the uplink station with it in your inventory, it doesn't let you. If you want to upgrade the other drives that you brought, you're going to have to drop that legendary and pick it up after the other drive is inserted. It's also worth noting that if you look up to the top of the uplink station antenna while you're running a download, there's a colored beacon that corresponds to whatever upgrade you're performing. So if you're gonna go from common to uncommon, it'll display a green light and so on and so forth. Since a full data drive upgrade takes five minutes, all while sending out notifications to prospectors on each level you're upgrading, because of this, PVP is likely. And now we arrive to why I chose the North uplink and not the one to the Southeast. Because you could do the uplink there too, but besides having a better hiding spot in the North, the South uplink has a lot more creatures. So clearing them out is unreasonable and they will come attack you when you start the download, making you more vulnerable against oncoming prospectors. Furthermore, 
you're in one of the most traveled across areas in the game right next to science campus and the whole north side of the station is revealed to a cliffside that has a clear view of the terminal where you need to insert the data drive compared to the north uplink that is a bit less traveled by prospectors and its revealed side faces out from the cliff that it's on so the only shots you can take will be from somewhere within the station the first thing I do after killing the surrounding creatures is make sure all doors are closed. This is going to give you extra opportunity to have an enemy player give up their position as well as deter them from entering the control room above. Next, you want to insert the data drive and get to a safe spot like this one here, where you're close to the terminal to speed up the process and to be close by for PVP baiting. Most of the kills I've gotten here are from waiting a bit longer after the drive finishes an upgrade. As I was saying earlier, there is a continuous beeping sound till the data is extracted from the terminal, till you pull it out. This will be heard by any player in the vicinity. If you wait for some odd 30 seconds or so, you can hear if another player is moving up to get the drop on you when you go to try to grab it or get the auditory cue when they snatch it and try to run. This makes this loot run have a secondary benefit as being a perfect situation to get kills that you need. If you're out there stuck on SMG kills or pistol kills, that is the best place to get them. With a team, you could sit here and rack up 100,000 K marks if you're confident in your PVP abilities. If you're not confident in your PVP, you need to check out this video here. This will give you crucial tips to outplay the Chads.